Hi, everyone. Welcome to this reading. Now, this is a collective reading on uh, prosperity consciousness for all signs is collective. And the reason why I'm doing this is because of what is happening on the planet right now. So much chaos when it comes to um, finances, abundance. And so individuals are being worried about, you know, what's going to happen when it comes to uh, their own prosperity or their own abundance, right? Um, so much is being revealed at the moment on a planetary level. So I thought it would be a great idea to just do a reading for the collective. So the um, maybe the first three cards I'm going to pick will be for the collective. And then subsequently, um, the next three cards will be uh, for individual. Like as individuals, what can we do about, about things? Okay, so let's see. Um, well, this is general reading, so take it as it resonates and drop the rest. Okay, first card we got, um, I think there's a glare, you can see that. So first card we have is change. Mm. Interesting. Second is humility. <laughs> Very interesting, I'm quite tickled by the message, and this is for the collective consciousness and what's happening. And then we have extraordinary, okay? So first card, you know, obviously change, a lot of change coming up on a planetary level in how we are looking at money and how we're handling money as well. Um, so when the ego, I'm going to read what this card says, right? So when the ego finally sees the utter madness of trying to control everything, you come to a sacred crossroad in your own evolution. So this is happening on the mass scale, right? I mean, what has been revealed to us uh, right now is that it's complete madness, right? What's happening in the financial world, you know, with things collapsing, with with huge billion dollar uh, organizations supposedly on the path to success, you know, going bankrupt. And then, you know, we hear news of uh, money being, um, I'm gonna avoid using that term, but, um, because this is on YouTube. So money being washed. <laughs> so uh, all of that is happening. And so it is rocking, right? The financial world, rocking the, the, the planet and us individuals as well. So change is coming. Obviously, this is the energy that is that has come in for that. And so what we need to do is really to bow down to humility, right? And so uh, this particular card says, allow me divine to always accept the right assistance. I welcome your help in every way and delight in receiving it. So this is a huge lesson for everyone involved, you know, um, from big corporations to politicians to banking and, and all of that. But whether they are going to do it is another story, right? Whether they are humble enough, um, to apologize or humble enough to admit mistakes is a totally different story here. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. And so the third card here is extraordinary. There's a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored. So as human beings on this planetary system, uh, we are in a very unique position, right? We are a very unique species as compared to other you know, other beings. Um, we have this thing where we exchange currency, we exchange um, you know, money for, for something, right? And I think as human beings, one of the key things that we have forgotten is that we need to look at our own energy as currency. We often sacrifice our own energy for other people and we don't realize how, how much value we have, you know, in our time, in our resources, in our energy and the kind of commitment that we put into our relationships. That's all currency, and we've forgotten about that. We're so focused on the dollars and cents, right? As currency, we do not realize that energetically, um, there is a lot of power in our currency as well. Okay, so well, this is uh, coming up, right? So a lot of um, humility is required. Um, so, you know, it'd be interesting to observe, to see what is happening in the world and to see if, you know, those in power are willing to be, you know, humble and um, restructure everything and welcome change instead of still holding on to this power that they think they have. Okay, so I'm not here to bash anybody. I'm just saying, <laughs> saying it as it is. You know, you might have all noticed what is happening in the world right now. So let's pick some clarifiers. Love heals fear. The power of your love can help bullies and angry people <laughs> to be less afraid, right? So um, the card said, 
said the words that everybody needs to hear. The power of your love can help bullies and angry people to be less afraid because those in power are fearful of losing their power. So they are, you know, bullies in a way. And um, they are fearful. They are afraid to lose their power. And so they do all kinds of strange things to maintain power. All right. This is a, a good message. Uh, talk about your feelings. Tell a friend how you feel. So perhaps, you know, people could have discussions about what's happening in the world, the financial sector, what's happening in terms of, you know, our banking systems. Talk about how we feel. I think, I think it's important to make that into conversations and, you know, um, communicate, you know, how we feel about what's really going on. Um, because not everything is about politics because this, this affects all of us as real people, right? As people on the ground where we are trying to feed our families while we're trying to do the right thing. And then, you know, people with seemingly uh, a lot of power who are controlling the whole financial system are just manipulating systems, right? As, you know, as what we have seen of late. So let's pick another clarifier, laughter. So we need a good laugh. We need to lighten things up as well. This is on a collective. Now, as individuals, what can we do? All right, so I'm going to pick as many cards as is needed to gain some clarity on the situation for all of us. So as individuals, what can we do? This one flew out. Ooh, the belief in divine abundance. Okay, I think you can't see this. Okay, so divine abundance. You were born today to align with love's will. Follow the Tao and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundance, not chase it. So just be abundant. As individuals, we need to trust that we are abundant. Don't fall into the trap that we think we need We need to control everything. Focus on service work. Focus on something bigger than, you know, other than our egos, okay? Um, and obviously also serve beyond greed, right? And um, I think greed is what gets us into trouble as a collective. You know, all of these on the collective front, right? So much greed happening in the world. So it's coming to the surface, it's breaking down, and we are seeing it. And uh, so as individuals, let's pick one more card to see as individuals, what else can we do? Grief. I think this is important to go through a grief process. Uh, tears are what happens when the ice in the heart melts. So we need to grieve. Grief about the loss of... I would say, you know, for me personally, I feel like um, grieving for what I thought was real, right? Or um, I think in the past few years, a lot of truth has surfaced. And so we need to grieve for what we thought was reality and then realizing that, hey, wait a minute, that the reality I thought was reality is actually a fake reality. It's a narrative that powers to be, uh, you know, promoting to want us to believe that narrative. And then when things are unearthed, right, the, the light is shining onto the shadow of humanity and we realize, oh my God, there's so much more that's happening in the world. Um, and so we need to grieve for that particular loss. We need to be able to, to say, oh no, you know, I believe in this particular truth or this particular reality for far too long and realizing that it's not real, you know, and a lot of it is made up, okay? So we need to grieve for that process as individuals, okay? And, you know, definitely we need to talk about things. Energetic clearing. This is so important, right? And this is something that I encourage everyone to do. We need to clear our energy system of fears, attachments, and align ourselves to the grand plan, right? To the grand plan, meaning our own divine path, our divine purpose, align with that and so that we can align more with um, greater abundance, which is this divine abundance, okay? Let's see what else this one popped up. Refrain. Ah, this is very good. This is happening for me and not to me. All right. This is happening. So if you are one of those people who lost a lot of money of late um, because of investments gone wrong, refrain. Say to yourself, this is happening for me, not to me. Okay. This is very reassuring, I feel. Okay. So let's see, let's pick some more inspirational cards about the current situation. I feel like I need to do more uh, prosperity readings, maybe for each sign. So, you know, 
yeah, I think I'll probably do that because this one is really for collective and uh, I think you will all enjoy it if I do the individual. So if you like the message so far, please give me a like and uh, subscribe to this channel and share this video if you like. Relax, everything's okay. Don't worry, it's going to be fine. Very reassuring, inspiring. Believe in yourself. See yourself doing well and you will. Okay, I like this. Okay, so everyone, we know huge changes coming up. Get ready, put on your seatbelt. Uh, we welcome the change because the change would mean that we are allowing old systems to die and new systems to be reborn. And we need to go through the grieving process, reframe what we're seeing, welcome divine abundance, clear our energies and move forward. Okay, so um, if you like a personalized reading, you're most welcome to book a session and the details are below this video and I will see you soon. Bye for now.